пожарных людей. Russian TV doesn't even hide the fact that abandoned houses in Kursk Oblast are being robbed by their own army. Most complaints come from Glushkovsky district. A certain Alexandra says that after returning, she saw a house with broken windows, a broken garage gate, from which a car was stolen and tools were taken. The house was also looted. The looters also reached other homes and the owners who returned from the gates wide open garbage in the rooms and no TVs, refrigerators, washing machines or other appliances. One of the displaced women discovered that her refrigerator was being sold online as used equipment. In another video, the owner showed a completely looted store. The shelves in the premises were empty and the air conditioner was broken. Russian occupiers from the military police in the video claim, in contrast, that there are no looters in Koronevo. The settlement is constantly patrolled. The announcer in the video agreed that there may not be looters in Koronevo, but the situation in the Glushkovsky district is different. Recall residents of the village of Koronevo in the Kursk region complained to Putin, as well as the heads of the Russian Defense Ministry, the Prosecutor General, the head of the Investigative Committee and the Chief Military Prosecutor about the facts of mass looting committed by Russian military personnel during the so-called counter-terrorist operation after the entry of Ukrainian armed forces units into the region. People write that there was not a single day of Ukrainian army presence in Koronevo, but after the arrival of Russian military in the village, dozens of residential buildings, shops, gas stations and pharmacies were looted. They say there are numerous accounts of men in Russian military uniforms breaking down doors of evacuated homes, taking away belongings and valuables, and shooting dogs to stop them from interfering with the looting. Russian soldiers also steal cars and agricultural equipment that their owners did not manage to take away. It is no secret that stolen property is taken away through fields and open roads, the statement said. There is no official response from the Russian authorities to the cry from the heart of the indignant Kursk residents who believe in the fair Putin. Sure. <laughs> The alarm bell has appeared for the Russian economy, indicating an upcoming wave of company bankruptcies. The Russian economy can no longer handle the so-called special operation. The analyst of the Sonar 2050 project, a supporter of the war, Ivan Lizan openly told that economic problems that Russia has faced in recent years are the consequences of the so-called SVO. Commenting on the increase in the interest rate in the Russian Federation to 21%, he warned Russians that there is no limit and this figure will continue to go up. In this way, the Central Bank of Russia is trying to contain the horrific inflation that Russia has encountered due to aggression against Ukraine. Considering that the Kremlin does not plan to wind down the war, this means that the problems in the country's economy will continue to grow. We must understand why inflation is growing. Moreover, an honest and adult 
explanation can be provided. The main reason for high inflation is the ongoing special operation. We do not know how long it will last. Since Russia has become involved in this matter, it must be brought to a logical conclusion to the liquidation of Ukrainian statehood. This is a priority. The state does not spare money to achieve this goal. Inflation is, in fact, the reverse side of the model of staffing the RF armed forces, where the emphasis is on attracting volunteers to military service with the help of a very solid material package. This material package does not come from nowhere, the Russian propagandist said. Russian Z War correspondent Maxim Kalashnikov writes that almost 40% of Russian entrepreneurs have recently encountered an increase in late payments from their counterparties. This is a harbinger of very big economic problems in the country. According to the Zedwar correspondent, already in the future year of 2025, Russia may face a wave of bankruptcies of the country's key enterprises. This will lead to disorganization of the rear and ultimately to defeat in the war against Ukraine. The government understands this and therefore will agree to a truce, even on the West's terms. Otherwise, it will face an economic crisis and the need to mobilize reservists, the consequences of which risk becoming explosive, Kalashnikov wrote. In fact, according to him, Russia has not managed to achieve any of the goals of the so-called SVO. Many people benefited from the war, but not the Russian Federation and not Ukraine, the enlightened propagandist stated. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Monday that military intelligence is seeing an increase in North Koreans but, unfortunately, not an increase in our partner's response. Speaking in his nightly video address Zelensky said, there are already 11,000 of them in the Kursk region. He also congratulated Maya Sandu on winning the Moldovan election. And, in general, on the fact that Moldova's commitment to true sovereignty has stood the test. Вже три місяці наших активних дій на Курщині незабаром. І це важливо. Тримаємо цю санітарну зону у визначених районах поблизу нашого державного кордону. І маємо цінувати значення цієї операції. Курської операції. Для поповнення нашого обмінного фунту. Це дуже допомогло звільненню наших людей з російського полону. Була сьогодні також окрема доповідь ГУР та Служби зовнішньої розвідки щодо північно-корейських військових на території Росії вже 11 тисяч в Курській області. Ми бачимо збільшення північного корейців і не бачимо збільшення реакції партнерів. Говорив з президенткою Молдови, привітав Маю Санду з перемогою на виборах та загалом з тим, що курс на реальний суверенітет Молдови витримав випробування. Для всіх держав нашого регіону і реальна безпека, і реальна соціальна справедливість, і реальне подолання бідності – все це можливо лише за умови реальної інтеграції до спільного європейського простору.